Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to show you some new features, some new options inside Darkroom Booth for iPad. So let's jump right into my iPad and see what's new. Okay, so let's jump right into Darkroom Booth for iPad. And I've already installed the latest update. In a upcoming update, you will have your own sample events already built into the software that will download automatically. But for now, what you can do is if we switch to our browser and go to the help center, darkroomsupport.com, and we're going to click on Darkroom Booth for iPad, getting started, and sample events. We have a whole bunch of events right down here, and all you have to do is click on it and then download it. And I've already downloaded all of these events and they are now available in my downloads folder so let's load one and click load event go to downloads and we will load let's go with the 360 booth and in order to do 360 you would need video which is now included in darkroom booth so that event's already set up. You can connect it to your 360 spinner and then hit start and test it out today. Um, let's go ahead and load a couple more events. Um, go flower power. And there are 10 sample events total. go with garden I think that's enough for right now but you can download and install all of them and they're available at the darkroom software help center you can get to that darkroomsupport.com and it's going to be under getting started for booth for iPad <clears throat> so let's go ahead and try one of these out let's try the flower power which was one that we just installed we want to make sure we allow access to photos click start a bit it should ask for the camera as well. Okay, and there we have our start screen. And we uh, tap to start, and we do a color or burst. We'll just go ahead and do a color photo. And we can share it via email. That all works the same way. Let's exit out of here and check out a couple more of these sample events. Um, one I really like is Neon Space. <coughs> So they're all pre-configured with uh, track screens. Uh, nine out of ten of them have uh, video track screens, and then one of them is simple rustic. This is just JPEG, and these are all just samples and examples, so you can see how and uh, different ways to set up your booth. But let's uh, make it first. This one's cool because it has animated animated uh, frame as well. So we'll exit out of that. <clears throat> and let's see for a kid's birthday party. This gives us a whole bunch of different options. You can do video recording. Let's say it's a wedding or something. These are just ideas and examples of what you can do. But uh, we'll do color photos. It should take, I believe, I believe, three photos. Okay, and there's our template. Some of these events are made for printing. So if it has two up strips or a four by six, then that would be for printing. Some of them are made specifically for sharing. So you'll see a single strip and that would be for uh, sharing, not necessarily for printing. And then um, if you have video or GIFs, those would obviously be for sharing. Okay, so when we started, we downloaded 
the um, 360 event. You can see there's our attract screen, background screen, and share screen. Because it's 360, that would pretty much only work with um, video style. So we have booth, uh, or we have burst GIFs enabled in a square and video enabled you can see the options that we have for video um, we can in, uh, enable audio by default it's turned off um, we can set it so it uses the back camera on the back side of the iPad um, or the front side the back side typically has a uh, better camera faster frame rate and higher resolution I believe and then we have video scripts so Hey, let's go ahead and enable video scripts. Normal, reverse, slow, normal, high resolution, video uh, frames per second, nine, uh, 60. So you can go in and update the settings that come with the software or with these sample events to customize it to make it just a little bit more like what you would like. But we'll click next. If you want to enable event gallery, and save so now when we start <clears throat> now I don't have my iPad attached to a, a spinner so this wouldn't wouldn't look very good you're just gonna see my desk <clears throat> and I, uh, it is a messy desk so we're gonna skip that for now but uh, let's try one more just so you can kind of see uh, some of the options that are built in, um, in different design style We'll tap that. Let's take some black and white photos. Okay. <clears throat> there I have my three black and white photos and you can kind of see my mic in the picture. And then I can share with myself <clears throat> and I'm all done. So that's a small preview into what has been added. There are more things coming soon for our darkroom booth for iPad. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.